What is the fast of the 10th of Tevet and why is it so important? The 10th of Tevet is a fast day, one of, the one of the important fast days of the Jewish calendar. We have at different levels. You have, of course, Yom Kippur, then one step, step down, Tisha B'Av, and then the next level down are four fast days known as the fast days related to the destruction of the temple. It is the fast of the 10th of Tevet, the fast of the 17th of Tammuz, the fast of Gedalia. And then we have another fast called the fast of Esther. All of these are public fasts that we fast for a day, morning till night. There's an interesting rule that says like this, that if a fast day falls on Shabbat with the exclusion of Yom Kippur, that fast is either delayed to the next day, like Tisha B'Av, it falls on Shabbat, or is pushed back earlier, as in the case of the fast of Esther. If, however, the 10th of Tevet falls on Shabbat, we would have to fast. That cannot happen because we have a fixed calendar. However, it does sometimes happen that the 10th of Tevet can fall on a Friday and we have to fast into Shabbat. And the question is, why is the 10th of Tevet so important that we have to fast? So first of all, we have to understand what happened on the 10th of Tevet. On the 10th of Tevet, Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, besieged the walls of Jerusalem. It was the beginning that were of the end of the first Jewish commonwealth. It would ultimately lead to the breaching of the walls on the 17th of Tammuz, or the 9th of Tammuz, in the case of Temple 1, and the destruction of the temple on the Tisha B'Av. So what is, makes the 10th of Tevet so important? And I would like to offer you a new insight that I just heard this year. The classic answer to why we fast on the 10th of Tevet is to learn the lesson of what of, of striking while it is still you've still got a chance. Had the Jewish people at that time said, Whoa, the writing's on the wall. We are in serious trouble over here. Nebuchadnezzar is coming. He's going to destroy the temple. Is it worthwhile continuing the fight? We can at least save the temple, save Jerusalem. Maybe they would have changed direction, repented, and things might have been different. But I heard a beautiful insight this year. And it said like this. The tenth of Tevet is so important because we have to remember something. At the 10th of Tevet, that fateful year, the temple was still standing. And in Shamayim, they were debating, do we allow the Jewish people to keep their temple or is it going to be destroyed? And at that moment, it was decreed the temple would be destroyed. And every single year since that occurrence, we come to the fast of the 10th of Tevet and the same question has been asked in Shamayim. Do the Jewish people deserve a temple this year? Will we be granted the miracle of the temple? And for the last 2,000 years, the answer has been no, because of the sins of Sinar Chinam and Lashon Hora, etc. If that's the case, and we know that part of Judaism's rituals and part of the way that we serve God is with that temple, it is so important then to try and do whatever we can to bring the base of Mikdash back. And thus, the 10th of Tevet is that day in which we are ob obligated and asked to uh, bang on the gates of heaven and say, Enough Hashem, please let this year be the last one where there's no Beit HaMikdash. Build the base, allow us to build the Beit Hamidash. We will work on ourselves. We will do tshuva. We will stop the sinachin and the hatred between Jews and the different factions of Jews. We'll learn to find the love and respect for every single yid. We're going to work on ourselves. Please, Hashem, help us rebuild the Beit Hamidash so we can serve you in the ideal format. <clears throat> Thus, the tenth of Teved is not just any fast day. It is a critical fast day. So important that the rabbis decreed that if it fell on Shabbat, you would have to fast on Shabbat. So fast well, use the time to improve 
on your Avas Yisrael, your love of your fellow Jew, and let us work together to improve the world and to strengthen the Jewish people. And may we see the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash, Bimhera, Fiameinu, in our day. Thank you.